God called us in Christ before the foundation of the world. Paul says, the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved is the power of God. So follow the logic here. Based on that verse, there are two types of people in the world, in history. Humanity divided into two groups based on two different reactions to the cross. First, to those who are perishing, the cross seems absurd. We, we wear crosses on our necks and hang crosses in our homes. But you didn't do that in the first century. This was the most gruesome, most torturous, most shameful way to kill someone reserved for barbarians and slaves. The cross. Any Jewish person believed it's what the law said. Jewish thought anyone who hung on a tree was under the curse of God. So you're telling me the Messiah is cursed of God? Christ crucified? That's shocking blasphemy. There's no way to Jews and Gentiles alike. But Paul is writing to a group of Jews and Gentiles in Corinth who had believed in Christ. So don't miss it. There's another group here. To those who are perishing, the cross seems absurd. But to those who are being saved, the cross evokes awe. Why do so many people in the world look at the cross and see folly? while you look at the cross and see forgiveness. Is it because you're smarter? Is it because you're better in some way? Absolutely not. It is only the mercy of God that enables you to see the cross with all. We are a community centered around the cross. We don't boast and we don't revel in the possessions we have or the position we hold or the status we attain. No, we don't, we don't revel in anything we have or are in this world. For we know that apart from God's mercy in calling us to Himself through the cross of Christ, we would have nothing. We don't revel in the wisdom or the ways of this world. We only revel in the grace and the glory of our God. So that no human being might boast in the presence of God. There is no room for pride in the church. We realize that apart from the mercy of God and the cross of Christ, we shudder to think of where we would be. This reality, humility at the cross, let it bring joy and confidence.